It's the American Dragon. Metal still is signing. Brian Danielson. Oh, what the... What the hell is this? It makes me sick to my stomach to say that the Undisputed Era have won this. God damn it. Why? This is disgusting. Why? Why, Danielson? Hey, Hunter, if you're watching, screw you. Metal Wrestling has lost. Brian Danielson, go to hell. The Bri Brian Danielson, what the hell was that? Why did you attack Stone Cold? That son of a bitch. I'm going to wring that bastard's neck for what he did, goddammit. Steve, man, calm down. Calm down, Terry. Shoot, son. You wouldn't be calm if some son bitch wrapped a chair around your skull. That's the least of our problems, man. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Austin's in some hot water now. This is the moment we make him pay. I said I would wait for revival to be over before I unveiled my master plan, and Brian Danielson was just the tip of the iceberg. It's time for phase two. What the hell do you want? Steve, I'm here on behalf of the EVP of NLW Triple H as the legal representative of No Limits Wrestling. As you know, you're accused of contract tampering by approaching contracted NLW talent to sign with your company, Metal Wrestling. Bullshit. I ain't ever done anything with contracts. That wasn't by the book. Please, Steve, anything you say will be held against you in a court of law. I happen to know that statement you made to be false. You signed Brian Danielson, correct? Yeah, I signed that bastard. He was released from NLW. Well, according to our documents, no release was finalized, meaning Brian Danielson is still under the employment of No Limits Wrestling, meaning you illegally approached him to sign with your company. So whatever contract he signed with you is null and void but it will be used as evidence in this case. That son bitch, Triple H set me up. Whoa, whoa, Steve, don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. We can avoid going to court in all of this. All you need to do is return what is rightfully the property of No Limits Wrestling. All of Metal's assets go back to Triple H and we can forget this whole thing. I bought those asses fair and square and if you're gonna try and set me up, hell, I'm gonna have to knock you down. How did Austin take the legal warning then, huh? How do you think he took it? Look, the point is, he's on the ropes. And I've got him right where I want him. It's time for phase three. You have quite some nerve. Tell me right now I shouldn't drop you right here. Because if you do, Mr. Austin, I will have you arrested. Right, well I wanna know what the hell you want from me, huh? Can't handle a little competition so you're trying to shut me down. Is it really competition when it's assets that I owned, that I made famous? Made famous, son. It's those wrestlers busting their asses for metal that made that brand famous. Not you, not anybody else. Face it, NLW is struggling because we are providing the show that the people want to see. These people do not know what is best for business. I say there's only room for one company in this world. Oh yeah, is that right? Well, I thought we could coexist, but apparently you can't stand to be second best. I have never stood for being second best, Austin. You know this. But I'll tell you what, I'll cut you a deal. I will sue the shit out of you unless you hand over Metal's assets. Well, hell, I ain't doing that, son. I've worked too damn hard for this company, Metal Wrestling, to go over and lay down now. I say you're gonna have to pry them from my cold dead hands. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. I'll tell you what, you want them so bad, how about we have a little match, huh? At your big show, WrestleMania. We have a match to decide who is the last man standing, huh? The last company standing. You really think you can beat me, Austin, huh? More than anything, Hunter. I know I can beat you. I know Metal Wrestling can beat you. I don't want to shut down NLW, far from it. I just want to see you taken out of the equation. 
Well, I do want metal to be ended, Austin. I hate metal wrestling. I hate you. I hate its fans. It sucks. It always sucked. And that's why I sold it. But now, you've got these people believing you're some sort of savior to wrestling. Well, I'm going to be judge, jury, and executioner. But there's no way I trust you with a contract to make this match up. Hell, I don't trust you either. So who the hell do we get to write up a contract for this match? I have an idea. Let me be perfectly clear. If either of you interrupt me or God forbid start throwing hands, I'm out of here. I'm strictly here as a mediator. I have no stake in this feud. Hell, I've got my own company to worry about, so let's make this quick. You know very well I've had to oversee a bunch of chaotic and violent contract signings in my time at WSC, but that's not what this is going to be. Right here I've written up a contract of stipulations for the both of you about this NLW WrestleMania match you wanted. Again, let me be clear, you do not argue with these stipulations, let me remind you I am here to be an impartial figure. Any lawsuits, contract tampering, dodgy business deals, it's all thrown out once you sign this contract. This contract states that in the main event of WrestleMania, both of you will captain a team of five wrestlers, NLW versus Metal Wrestling. You each have until WrestleMania to find four members for your respective teams. This will be a five versus five elimination match. There will be no disqualifications. The last team standing wins the match for their company, whether it's NLW or Metal Wrestling. Triple H. If your team wins, Metal Wrestling must cease operations effective immediately, and all assets once again become property of No Limits Wrestling. However, if Stone Cold's team wins, then Triple H must step down as NLW Executive Vice President, and Stone Cold will take over as the head of both NLW and Metal Wrestling. Let's get this signed and make the match official. Gentlemen, may the best team win. 